Hello to everyone, welcome to my channel. From this lesson on, we are starting our SQL Bootcamp where we will learn all about SQL and how to work with the databases. SQL is a valuable skill for anyone working with data, whether you are a developer, data analyst, or database administrator. It's a programming language used to manage data residing in relation database management systems. From this lesson on, I will introduce the complete SQL Bootcamp which will provide you with solid foundation SQL and database management. Over the course of this Bootcamp, we will cover everything from uh, the basics of SQL to more advanced database management techniques providing with the solid foundations in these essential skills. After completing this course, you can gain a comprehensive understanding of SQL, including more advanced topics like subqueries, store procedures, or common table expressions, and its practical application preparing you for various roles in the data management, analysis, and database administration. In this course, we will primarily work with PostgreSQL as this database is a powerful tool, open source relation database management system known for advanced features, extensibility, and strong support for SQL standards. That's why we will query in PostgreSQL and send it to the Jupyter Notebook for uh, portfolio use. Jupyter Notebook is the local server which will allow you to save all of your queries and output them in the future. So let's start from downloading both of them, connecting them and importing the dataset which is available in my GitHub account from where you can just take the dataset and practice it by yourself. Okay, first go to your browser and type in PostgreSQL download and just click on the official page here and then you could choose your operating system here I have a window so I have uh, clicked on the window and here there are all the versions PostgreSQL versions uh, and the latest version is 15 you could uh, click on the download the installer and it will redirect you to this page as you can see it has a 16 PostgreSQL version and you should click here on the download button here and wait until this uh, database will be downloaded to your PC okay I'm waiting here Now the downloading process is completed. I will open it here and click on this package, PostgreSQL package, and try to install it here. It will pop up with the small window. Just see here. Yeah. And you should click on the next button here. And this is the default settings where the installation directory and all these necessary packages okay you are just continuing to click on the next next and here you should mm, give a password and uh, don't forget it is your password because you will need it while connected to your database in the future I have created a password and retype it again and click on the next here and this is the port this is also very important to know I just save this port to my notepad in case if, the, if I need it in the future okay I saved it and click on the next again default settings here next and next next okay it start to install and we should wait I will just fast forward it for a bit and come back later Okay, the installing process has been completed. We are clicking on the finish here and we don't need the stack builder. We are just clicking cancel and yes. And now if I try to type in the PG admin, there is no PG admin in the search here because or um, PostgreSQL hasn't included this package. So I will try to install it separately here from the official website PG admin. Uh, admin website okay uh, this is a PG agent I will go back here 
and here is the, is the pg admin for for the windows operating system i will click on the windows here and pick up this uh, latest released version and click on this package here i try to download it and i will come back when the download process will be completed after completing i will just open it and try to in install it Okay, install only for me next I accept the agreement next next and next okay it starts to install it again I will fast forward it until the end of this installation process I will and click on finish refresh And here I will type in the PG admin and open it here. Okay, our database is opening. Okay, it has complete it has opened our database and now I will just click on the servers. And try to connect to my database here. Click on the servers, software SQL 15, and here it hasn't uh, popped up the automatic password, so I will try to connect manually here by clicking on the right button here and connect server and type in my password in this field. Say password, click OK. And now it has opened my the all the databases. Default database is the Postgres, Postgres, and it has included all of these packages within the databases here. I will create the database my DB. My DB. Click OK. Save. Now. My DB has all of these um, files included in this database and the important thing is that it has schemas here inside of the schemas uh, field we have what tables here and these tables are the most important things here okay inside of the tables I will type in the query tool and here I will just check if our database is working I have a URL here, my GitHub account, where I have downloaded all of the data which are going to be used in the future. I will try to open it here. We can paste and open it. It has two files. The first one for creating the tables, the second one is the data. Okay, I will try to copy this table, create table actor and paste it here and click on run button and you can see we have created the table refresh and we have a table with the column names here these columns actor id first name last name last update we can even just print out the first 100 rows but we have no data here the only thing that we have is the columns here but i want to add in the data so i will go in a second i will go to the, to the second file and click on the view row and search in the actor table the data for the actor table by typing the insert into actor okay I will copy all of these fields and paste it into my database.
Okay. Query to again and pasting or oh, copied file. Make sure that you are inside of the MyDB folder. Okay, I have inserted it and click on run and query return successful. And now I will check, refresh it and check if my table has all the data that I have imported here. First 100 rows and you can see we have imported all of these data here into my database. Let's select uh, and print it out manually. Select all from actor and you will see the result is the same. Now, uh, if we want, it's an optional if you want to print out all of your uh, queries and visualize uh, again either your queries and your data. You should uh, download or install the Jupyter Notebook. It's optional. It's up to you whether you want it or no. But it's easy for me just for the repeating process. I always try to use the Jupyter Notebook because again it just shows up your query and its result and you can just save it to your github account and later on just revise all of your scripts here and try to just visualize my um, result here inside of the Jupyter Notebook and in the future we will just try to use the, both of them interchangeably because after um, creating the query I will just paste all of these queries inside of this Jupyter Notebook okay I will name it the SQL tutorials and try to connect it first I will type in what pip install ipython SQL this is all the necessary uh, necessary commands that you all need to install for uh, printing out or connecting to your database pip install it helps you to remember all of your code in case if you forget something Okay, I have installed all of these packages and now I will try to type in the load extension SQL and now I'm open to what connect to my database here SQL PostgreSQL colon to slash again Postgres and after the colon you will type in what your code here your password then add and the local host slash your database name your database name is mydb so you will add it mydb click a shift enter and now if you just try to create a uh, query by typing select all from for example actor the same query as in your database it will print out your data into the Jupyter notebook that's it for now thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel have a good day bye